was um, off today. About to run a few rounds. About to meet little Jimmy, my cousin. If you watched the um, baby shower vlog, she had her baby on the third. So we're going to go see him. Anyway, this is one of them blue Shein dresses, the shoes too. Look at the workout, baby. They already doing their little thing. Anyway, it's really cute. Also, did a little blue eyeshadow, little nude lip, little clear quartz, blue ombre, evil eyes, things like that. So, really cute. Just have to show y'all for a look. Ooh, baby. Ooh. Look at that, baby. He just been chilling. Not a cry, no nothing. We love him. He too cute. Oh. Yeah, we got our baby. Mm -hmm. It's cute before I get into it. I just, you know, I have to show y'all whatever. He got his pacifier. He's really over it though. He's okay, I'm six days old. I'm almost a week old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Ooh, he back in Tennessee. Hey, B, bro. <laughs> The recent obsession. I really could just do a whole cup of the almond cocoa loco. Talking about a weight loss journey. Mm. This don't count. This my sweet free treat. Yeah, what did you get this song? Chocolate vanilla. Shortbread pieces with nuts. Mm -hmm. Lemon lime. Coconut. And pineapple. Lemon lime mango with mango boba. Cookies and cream, chocolate, vanilla, with a little Oreo on top, and some chocolate shred. You know, I'm a cocoa loco. Damn, that's like a whole bag of an almond right there. And in Dollar Tree grabbing some household things. Almost had got into a bra. Motherfucker standing right in front of the door with dogs and shit. Y'all get y'all ass out the fucking way. And then looking at us stupid. I can't stand it. Why these can't be Chris White? I want them. Probably go running roses. You know, our little, yeah. Y'all been watching, y'all Y'all know our regimen. Roses, Dollar Tree, something to eat. <laughs> that kind of shit. What's up guys, it's June 13th. And girl, look at this sports bra I got off of Shein. Like, the fuck? You see the titties by myself? Like once I get this waist crazy, that ratio, because this is all me right now. It's over for you bitches. And I don't know, I feel more toned. Because being more toned doesn't always equate to weight loss. So I feel like I was a little bit more gutty at the beginning of this journey. My pre-workout is pretty much a blunt. About this much to a little more. About a, a clip. And um, some music. What have y'all been listening to lately? Because I, my playlist has been all over the place. I've been listening to a little Shabuzi, the, that black country artist. And I just found a bunch of new black country artists yesterday. So I'm going to look more into they shit. I've been listening to, you know, one and only always. Um, I've been listening to the, the Kate, what, what's his name? Kate Tronda? I don't know, I've been listening to him for years, and I'm, I've been listening to some of his newer songs or whatever. The one with Pink Panthers. I love it. What's up, guys? Now it's 1046. About to clean new strawberries. My favorite part is the figs. I need another bowl going with the grapes. Because look at these things. Y'all need to run over some to get these from Dollar Tree. I'm about to juice the rest of this watermelon because I've been devouring watermelon juice. I've been drinking at least 32 ounces of it. Yo, let me, let me let y'all in on a hack. Well, this is for the ladies, so all men exit the building. Nah, men, y'all can say too. If you want the, that ding a lane, a cootie cat, right? Up. Rocked watermelon juice for the ladies. We want it goosh, smelling good, tasting good. Watermelon juice. This right here is the antidote, baby, 
you want it together, watermelon juice. So does that mean they filthy or something when you do all of that? Like, is that just how baking soda and vinegar react? It's June 14th, um, I think it's six something. About to do, um, we were about to go to Ollie's because we need some um, stuff for the house. But why not run a sweet frog too? Uh, the, the, to be honest, the North Carolina heat is, it. we need that sweet frog on a weekly basis. I don't even feel bad about it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's hot. Yeah, I'll see you guys in one of those places. One no fucking night. I was just telling them about the sweet frog and now we don't even feel bad with weather like this. I got the chocolate with that new little cheese there. With some heat. Graham crackers. Shortbread and some peanuts. Mm, it's right too. And then of course I had to get my lemon and lime swirled together. Then for some reason I was feeling a little strawberry shortcake. So I got the very strawberry with the shortcake Ooh. with some nuts. Okay. Because you know I like nuts. Okay, y'all. They got the new island banana. It's fire. Mm, I mean, yeah, I mean, this is what I'm eating. It's gone. Mm. Mixed, I mixed it with a little mango and uh, with some strawberry boba. Then over here, I got pineapple with a uh, mango boba. And then, of course, my Amacobo logo with a little caramel jerk. I love that banana. They need to pull up the sweet frog. Chisler! And that damn bitch. <laughs> She's crying. Bro! It's the bro thinking about how I was sick of the look. Got some gowns. Made of stopping roses. And my sheets in there, they just match. And you know how roses is. You'll never see it again. I had to grab that. And like I said, some gowns. Of course, I'm gonna really show y'all when we get home, but they kinda off, but baby. I just yesterday was like, I'm, I'm gonna do love. So that's perfect. And then that's my sheets. With the four corner shelf. Dollar Tree Valentine. What? Yeah, I love when the store is just quiet and vloggable. I came over here and got happy. <laughs> Anybody know what crystal this is? It's real and it's cold and it's the only one. Imagine. What's up, guys? It's um June 15th. Got off of work a few hours ago. Look at it. I got the new gown on. It's really cute and cozy. And, um, yeah, I knew to not take my makeup off because I might be, you know, still filming something. So, anyway, um, yeah, nothing much. I just was thinking about different vlogs and shit. And I was thinking about this post that I seen earlier talking about some. If you're trying to get big on, the, um, you know, on the online vlogs are not the way to go no one's gonna watch you talk no one's gonna care pretty much like if you want to do something and then it was like a list of stuff you know on the threads on ig but like i don't have the app so i didn't um uh, look 
and see what the rest of the post said. But yeah, it just tripped me out. I was like, now, me, I'm this, I'm smart with it. I know that YouTube is a long journey to get to content creator status, if you will. But that's why you have uh, YouTube Shorts, Instagram, TikTok, X, which is so weird to call it that, Facebook, Facebook Reels. Um, and you can start a business to get your name and brand out there. You can sell digital products and, and get big off of that. And then that brings attention to you. You can do so many things to get popular. You got to make it all work together. You know what I mean? I just thought it was very discouraging for somebody who wants to make YouTube videos for somebody to say something like that. Like, no, you can still make vlogs, but just know, yeah, you are under 100 subscribers. Not that many people are going to tap in. Like, it's, I think that's common sense, <laughs> but you don't do it necessarily for that. You do it to build a community because I'm going to tell you one thing. At the end of the day, you can get, I've, man, I've gotten... 20k likes on a post do those people support me now no <laughs> do those, did half of those people stick around to follow me no i got a lot of followers off of them videos that went viral on tiktok but i've got to have videos that go went viral on here have i, I, I and they I, I never even got a subscriber from the shit one subscriber from a video that went and got 5k 8k like, you know, like, I think I do got a short that got, like, a couple thousand, like, a thousand something plus views. Um, I know that ain't viral, but it's a lot for my ass. And on TikTok, yeah, I got videos that got, like, 20K. Like, so many likes and so many bookmarks, so many, like, 30, 40 comments. I, I got probably 200, under 200 followers from that shit. You know what I mean? It's so, what I'm trying to say is if you be, you make vlogs, you target on certain people. Not everybody watches vlogs anyway. So, you make content for people who want that content. It will find those people, best believe. And if you and you will build a community. People who have YouTube videos that do vlogs and show they like, talking about nobody cares about your day-to-day -day life. Like, that's bullshit. Like, it's people who... They don't talk about shit. It's this one chick. I won't name her because I, I respect her. Um, but her videos are boring. And she has like half a million subscribers. And she got her little kids. And all she do. Well, I won't say they're boring. But she lives a normal ass life. She got kids. She'll get up. Take a shower. Um, the kids will sleep. Then go out and go make something in the kitchen. Like People want to see content like that. Believe it or not. And I just thought it was so discouraging because they they, they might have had a big platform. And it's just like, oh, I ain't going to waste my time with vlogs. And I'm here to say that if you made it to the end of this video, that if you want to make vlogs, fucking make vlogs. If you want to get big, popular, and have so many followers within the next six months, then you might want to try other platforms to get to looking at how to brand and market your brand or your niche in other ways than YouTube. Who says your whole channel has to be vlogs. Mine isn't. I make a lot of different videos. Lately, it's vlogs has been my thing. And vlogs have gotten me, my subscribers up. I fucking tell you that much. And I've seen my channel grow from vlogs. I, my confidence has grown from vlogs. I am more happier from vlogs. I have gained more recognition from vlogs. Like, it's just like, stop listening to all these stupid ass people. And like, listen to people who actually have fucking done it before. Like, that's my biggest advice to anybody. If you want to be a welder, I know that's random. You got to go listen to the niggas at the welding company who who been doing this 30 years. Not your uncle who ain't never did shit. I don't know about welding, man. It's too much other money to be made, man. Man, fuck that. You know you want to do welding. Y'all like the new intro, too? Because, um, I love it. <laughs> anyway, I will see you guys in the next comment. Blue or green or blue and green hearts. And I want to do a episode three of that girl and i want to do a be a productive trying to be productive vlog and i want to do a plant tour i got a lot of ideas for y'all that i discuss and m possibly my 100 um subs video so yeah i'll see you guys in the next vlog